we interrupt this sewing of the 1950s swing coat to participate in the hashtag joy viv topper challenge in which Christmas fabric turned into a Christmas kimono, probably the only Christmas kimono in the world. Chances are that swing jacket will be interrupted one more time by an attempt to make this kimono out of a fabric I have stashed away. So if this gets posted, then I completed it. And if it doesn't, you never saw it. There she sits, my kimono for the hashtag Joy Viv Topper. I found a book a few years ago in a street library where they have free books available. It was the Simplicity Simply the Best Sewing Book. I knew I wanted to make the kimono. I made it once before, and with this topper challenge, I decided I would make it again. Although my instructions, did all the things they told me to do. I cut out my pellon gridded fabric into the sizes that I needed. So we have here the kimono with the head neck cut out in the front. The sleeve full length and the sleeve folded in half. I have two sleeves, I cut them out so I to make sure that I have the right fabric. This would be the belt that I made, and this would be the collar trim. It's easy to make. The instructions were simple. I was happy with it. So if you want to go look at our finished product, this is the fabric that I had. This was the plain burgundy belt, and I added pieces left over from a fabric that had different squares and different colors and different images on it. Part of that fabric was the pockets. Put some of it on the belt, made the trim with it, and the sleeves. Turn it over in the back, we have stockings, and the belt again has a little bit of the leftover fabric that I added to the belt. I put in the three stockings for the back, this is the back of the sleeves. What a fun thing to wear Christmas morning as a house coat. And if I'm brave, I will wear it to a Christmas craft sale and have fun. So this unties. And then you have, you can wear it without the belt. I'm pretty pleased. It's a simple pattern in the book teaching you how to sew. So I was really lucky that I managed to get it done. In my opinion, it's sticking together <laughs> and it looks like a kimono. So I'm happy with it. I'll try it on and I'll show it to you. So here we go with my kimono that I made for the Viv Joy Topper Challenge. Here's the back. This is fabric that I had bought. I actually bought this fabric years ago before I actually officially started sewing. I thought I could make Christmas bags. I have a sewing machine. I'm just going to make Christmas bags. It's easy. Never got around to it. So now, this leftover fabric that I decided to make the topper challenge with. The belt does come off if you want to wear it beltless. And then you can just have a kimono with my belt and you could wear it for Christmas morning or Christmas festivities. If you're going to a party and you just want to be fun, a little different for the ugly Christmas sweater, you can wear the kimono. Although it's not an ugly Christmas sweater, it's still Christmas themed. That's the, thought. That's the concept. So, let me know how I did. I have to say this hashtag joy viv topper challenge was fun for a couple of reasons. One, I never would have made this kimono in a Christmas theme using the fabric that I had if it wasn't for the challenge. Also, it motivated me to want to play with other people from around the world who like to sew. 
So when I say play, I mean now I'm meeting other women who have the same interests as I do. And we're looking at other people's creative talents. And that's what it is. It's just fun. And we're playing. I'm having a good time. I'm using up fabric that otherwise wouldn't have been used. And they're creating a community of supporting each other who enjoy sewing. So win, win, and win. So I can't wait for the next challenge. This was a lot of fun. I will wear this at Christmas time when the kids all come over and such. Should I be singing a Christmas song, maybe? Do you know that Jingle Bells officially isn't a Christmas song? It's just a winter song that people put up for Christmas because it's got winter themes in it. Here in Toronto, Canada, we get lots of snow, so we like to sing snow songs. I know parts of the world you don't get the snow. So here's my Jingle Bell song to you. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Julie made a kimono for the hashtag joy with topper contest for you to see. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, I got my kimono topper with a belt that I can tie around for everyone to see. Hey! If you're having fun sewing, you're doing the right thing. Okay.